Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today I just wanted to give you a link for code animation software or project. Uh, it's an online editor software application to create, to generate animations with code and you can also export them and then use them for uh, some later adjustments and ideas and um, although we have used code to generate some kind of animations in some game engines like uh, game maker and scratch also those are game engines those are very specific and uh, some of those are not free or they are very, very robust and um, complex and this one is um, this one uh, software motion canvas it's uh, not uh, for games or um, games only or stuff like that it's more oriented to uh, video animations and so on so you can use your code knowledge, knowledge coding knowledge to generate animations and then later use them in some uh, videos tutorials youtube videos and so on so the whole idea is to ex export uh, animation when you create it so create animation export it and use it later as some kind of video so what i wanted to say it's not um, game oriented or something like that so um, you're not going to use this in a uh, game development i guess uh, but mostly for other purposes which is also great and again this channel of mine it's not only for game development or you even if you're uh, game development only you should try from time to time to see a bigger picture and um, other possibilities uh, this uh, project this application is free and open source and uh, i got some kind of youtube video as a recommendation on my uh, youtube um, and um, i just clicked on it saw a couple of uh, projects or uh, presentations and i liked it and i just wanted to share that and i will put that in a playlist of uh, freebies like uh, free internet stuff but also on free resources because uh, as i said in some previous videos this free resources list will be will be the list with all the stuff which should be permanent online or uh, long term and this uh, internet freebies like these games and assets from uh, game maker unity and unreal those will be uh, in internet freebies because they will expire so i even uh, i should even uh, delete maybe these older videos on older games and uh, assets which are not online anymore or at least change the thumbnail to say that those expired but these uh, other resources like applications some documents some uh, tutorials and so on i will put them in resources okay so let's see uh, what this motion canvas actually is um, i will just give a, a link and um, maybe uh, open the editor but you will have to explore it and learn it on your own i'm a beginner in it also just uh, as i said i just discovered it so maybe in future i will make some videos uh, because it looks very interesting to play with uh, but for now i'm as you a starter and as you can see here or even better in this motion canvas docs introduction it says that uh, it has two main components the uh, the first is that it's library of typescript that is a coding language uh, it's a javascript based coding language and that coding language that library of that con coding language generates or programs animations so we use coding in types typescript to create animations and then second component is that you can see that all online in real time as a preview which is not very common for um, other editors or applications so that is a big plus for this one other than it's uh, 
free and um, open source as it says here so uh, let's see that in action when you click on this try the editor you should get something like this you have some basic circle on the screen this is scene you can uh, think of it as a scene in game maker or scratch if you're coming from that environment and then you want to animate something here uh, down below you have some kind of timeline which represents the time in terms of frames frames are again uh, some periods of time uh, we divide one second mostly in 24 frames so you can um, that way you can um, animate in time not only in space because animations has to go through time also so for example in first second i can say uh, my circle should be on left side on the screen and on fifth seconds fifth second my circle should be on the right side right edge of the screen so that means from first second and the left my circle will move to the right and it will move for five seconds it's simple as that and then later you can export that animation and use it in your youtube videos as i said or videos at uh, all um, presentations um, tutorials explanation of some kind and so on so uh, the possibilities are unlimited um, i haven't used this so i won't bother you anymore uh, so in short when you click on these buttons yeah this one is uh, really really important to me so i can uh, for example i can also code animations in scratch but the problem i have there is that uh, those uh, scenes that game scene in scratch where i animate is uh, very small very low resolution and here i can have it in uh, high resolution full full high resolution or maybe even more maybe it, it can go to 4k i don't know uh, also i can see the preview uh, i can choose the frame rate that's what i said uh, a few seconds ago so if you want to get more smoother animation you have more frames per second but you have to animate more i can scale it so it's it's really great but this one is also very important i can render the animation and uh, export it output as much as i see from this preview i haven't tried it yet in practice but uh, this looks great again i can choose resolution and i can export it and that's what i cannot do in game engines like scratch game maker uh, and probably others like unity unreal and so on so this is not game oriented but it can be used on so many different level okay properties to see properties i have to click on something i will click on scene okay so my scene have so many properties same probably with this guy here yeah the red circle which has the properties for position rotation scale if you remember that we also had that in game maker scratch and game engine so we could animate those parameters there so i'm trying to make some compar comparison to compare those environments with this one so you can see that you can uh, see some similarities and uh, use those things which you know from one software from one environment to uh, advance or to uh, have your project or uh, problem solved or finished in other uh, and you can see you can animate uh, fonts position stroke um, and so on so so lots lots of stuff here and can i move it here no there is some kind of probably yeah maybe by value copied no i don't want to copy i want to change this one uh but i'm not sure how okay i have to find it somehow later anyway go to source what will that do let me click on it uh no okay grid uh 
Okay, um, again, I'm just a beginner here, so I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I have a debugger here, and I have also some kind of console window. Again, same with Game Maker, where you have console window below where you read uh, the errors if you have them, and so on. So, this tool uh, for me it looks very interesting and um, I will play with it in future for sure. I just wanted to share the information that you can go to motioncanvas.io and try the editor online right away and maybe make some kind of animation, export them. Uh, it uses this kind of uh, coding language which is called TypeScript. Uh, again, free open source language developed by Microsoft which was built on, uh, we can say, JavaScript. What is the difference between those two? Uh, the one is strict type and the second one is dynamic. Yeah. So I'm not going into explaining those in details, but again, if you're coming from JavaScript or similar uh, web-based programming languages, you should be able to adapt fast. And for the last I saw this um, video motion canvas is now open source at a YouTube uh, recommendation at uh, this guy artificial with 2a and h a a r t h i f i c i a l uh, and um, thanks to him so if you um, want to check out what he is making and progress more fa faster in it um, check out his videos only two of those but i guess it's a good for start animating with code and motion canvas is now open source and that's it uh, i just wanted to share uh, that piece of information and that was uh, 12 minutes so see you in uh, next video